I am a high school student, but unlike most of my friends who take a bus or drive a car to a building for school, I do all of my schooling at home. Now, I'm not homeschooled. I attend an online school, which is different from homeschool. It's actually very similar to a traditional brick and mortar school, but everything is done remotely through a computer. In a brick and mortar school, students are enrolled in and attend a school with teachers. It's not like homeschool where your parent is the teacher and they buy curriculum to teach you. In online school, you have real teachers using official school curriculum to teach many students. Just like a traditional school, it's just all online. Now let's get more into the details of how online school works. There are two parts, live sessions and coursework. For each of my classes, we meet once a week for a live session. The teacher can talk to us through a microphone. You brilliant students, you. We are talking about today about comparing and contrast. They can show slides of information, a video, or a virtual whiteboard, and the students can also use the chat to ask the teacher questions or to talk to each other. There are even different buttons to raise your hand or answer yes, no, A, B, C, D, make a confused face, applaud, things like that. Those are live sessions, but most of my time is spent doing coursework, assignments given to us students by the teacher. Most of the time it's reading lessons from a computer or a textbook, but there are occasionally essays, worksheets, virtual science labs, and discussions. The teachers give us due dates for our coursework, but nothing is actually marked late until Sunday night. Okay, now let's look at the pros versus the cons of online school. First, the pros. I really like how flexible online school is. In a traditional school, you're stuck with the same amount of time for each class, and then you're on your own for a little bit of homework. But with online school, it's the opposite. Very little of your time is blocked out for live sessions, and most of the time is up to you to figure out how to get the work done. You don't have to spend an hour on each class, you spend the time you need. It's also flexible because if you can't make it to a live session for some reason, you can watch them later on recording. And none of your assignments are late until Sunday, so if you have a day when you can't do school, you can move around the rest of your week to compensate. The way online school is set up, you really are in control of managing your time. This is my favorite part of online school. Of course, there are a few other things I really like about online school. Sometimes you don't understand the material just from reading the lesson and you need help from a teacher. The teachers all hold regular office hours, which are extra live sessions you can attend to get help. Some of my teachers have even set up one-on-one -on -one sessions with me when I wasn't able to make it to an office hour session. Of course, being at home is also nice. It's great not needing to commute to school and to just do my work from the comforts of home. Although this isn't super important to me, I don't mind being in a classroom, but being at home is nice. I will go other places to work on occasion. Another great thing about online school is that you can still participate in extracurricular activities in your local school district. I'm involved with the drama club at my local high school, and I know that lots of other students at my virtual school are involved in various sports and activities with their local schools. My online school also hosts various field trips and activities throughout the school year. I haven't been to any of them, so I don't know much, but I think they could be a great opportunity to meet other students as well as your teachers. There are a lot of great things about online school, but there are also several cons. Communication is hard. A lot of the communication is through text, and while sometimes that's great, it can also be limiting. The teacher can't just look at the students in the room and get a feel for how they're doing, and a little confused emoji isn't really a replacement for real face-to-face -face communication. Another con is the curriculum itself. The tests aren't super great. Throughout the year, I've found several test questions that didn't make sense, which my teachers agreed had some error in them. If you look online, you can see that other students have found many errors as well. It happens often enough that I kind of lose faith in the system. Most of my tests are graded by the computer, and what if there are errors I'm not noticing and my grades aren't what they should be? Online school also gives us less days off in a year, and we have more school days in the year, and there's no snow days. It's a bit annoying, especially when my friends get the day off and I don't, but that's not the worst problem with online school. The biggest con of all is the website itself. The online school website is very clunky. The way it displays the assignments is confusing at first, and just not really intuitive to new users. It's not very organized, and so I've had to use another program to actually keep track of all my work. The website also still relies heavily on Flash Player to display lessons and offline materials all handled in downloaded Word documents and PDFs. I would love to see some integration with Google Drive and not have so many assignments where you need to upload a file when it would be easier to share a link. The website also doesn't really work on mobile, which is kind of disappointing, but a bit more understandable. The worst thing about the website, though, is that it is so slow. 
Sometimes it works perfectly fine, but other times it's just unbearably slow. It takes forever to load my assignments, check my messages, join my live sessions, and take my tests. And it's really demotivating. It's like if you try to watch a YouTube video and it buffers. You just want to give up on watching it. But with school, the work still has to get done. You can't just give up. Because the website is so slow, it takes longer than it should to get things done, and then you get behind. It's not your fault, and there's virtually nothing you can do about it. I've tried everything tech support told me to do, short of plugging my computer directly into the internet, which isn't really an option for me. I've noticed the website works better in other places with faster internet, but if my slow middle of the woods internet can handle multiple web pages and games and YouTube videos all at once, I don't know why it can't handle my schoolwork, especially since it's an online school. They should know how to make a good website. After all that, would I still recommend online school to someone else? It depends. My ranting about the slow website might lead you to think that I haven't liked online school, but for me, the pros outweigh the cons. Especially since the biggest con is something that is theoretically fixable if they work on making the website run better in the future. But I know that the pros don't outweigh the cons for everybody. This study by Connections Academy, another online school company, shows some of the reasons why people choose online school. I'd probably fit into this category, but as you can see, there are many reasons people choose online school. If you fit into one of these categories, you might want to consider it, but online school definitely isn't for everyone. Personally, I've had a pretty good experience with online school, and I'll probably do it again next year, but that is just my experience with one particular company and only one of their many schools, and only at the high school level. The younger grades work much differently. Everyone's experience is different, and I've only experienced it for one year. This is the first year my state has funded a public online school, and I'm sure they're going to make it even better in years to come. Thank you.